identify the two homologous series to which these compounds belong. Let's take a look. Two bottles contain compounds A and B with the same molecular formula, C4H8O2. These compounds are straight chain organic molecules that belong to two different homologous series. The balloon points are used to distinguish between the two compounds. 3.2 identify the two homologous series to which these compounds belong. So you can see the general formula. We have O2. That only happens when we have carboxylic acids. So carboxylic acids and esters. Right. So that is the answer to 3.2. Identify the two homologous series to which these compounds belong. Homolo uh, carboxylic acids and esters. At this point, we don't know which is which. We don't have to specify. The following are vapor pressures of these compounds at a given temperature. So compound A has a vapor pressure of 0.071 kilopixels, And compound B has a vapor pressure of 9.7 kilopixels. So we know that the higher the boiling point, the lower the vapor pressure. So the compound with the vapor pressure has to be the carboxylic acid. So this is an acid. And the compound with a higher vapor pressure have to be an ester, a compound with the weaker intermolecular forces between the two. So 3.3.1, structural formula of compound A. So 3.3.1, we know that compound A is a carboxylic acid with four carbons. So we're going to have one, two, three, four. And then we have double bond oxygen, OH. Everything else that is just hydrogen. So that is the structural formula of compound A. Am I missing something? One, two, three, four bonds. Okay, we are happy with that. 3.3.2, are you picking name for a possible compound B? So compound B is an ester with four carbons. So it can be ethyl ethanoid. It can also be propyl methanoid. It can be methyl propanoid. Those are some of the options that we have. I think those are all the options. Yeah, I think we have about three options. But anyway, stories 3.4.1. Write down the strongest type of van der Waal forces between the molecules in compound A. So compound A is an acid. So the strongest intermolecular force is hydrogen bonding. Therefore, hydrogen bonding. And then compound B, strongest intermolecular forces in esters, is dipole-dipole. So that is the answer to 3.4.2. Dipole-dipole. 3.5, which compound A or B has a higher boiling point? Give a reason for the answer by referring to the strength of the intermolecular forces. So between A and B, A has a higher boiling point. It has stronger intermolecular forces, hydrogen bonding, right? Greater than the dipole-dipole in compound B. 3.6, the boiling point of compound A is measured again on another day when the atmospheric pressure is much lower. How will the boiling point of this compound now be affected? Choose from increases, decreases, or remains the same. Let me know in the comments, what's your answer to 3.6? The boiling point of compound A in a different day with a lower ATP, atmospheric, atmospheric pressure. What happens to the boiling point? Does it increase, decrease, or remain the same? Let me know in the comments. Which video do you want us to do next?